Well, it's after six, suitcases are in the car, we're good to go. These early flights are always painful. Adrenaline for a while. <laughs> well, Miriam is on her way to California. Provide the plane actually takes off today uh, to hang out with Mark and Katie while they uh, visit uh, Joshua Tree National Park. And I am left unsupervised for the better part of a week. Let's see what kind of mischief I can get into. We have us some uh, springtime like mild weather and uh, I got the tunes going through my headset. It's got some gas, we're all topped off. It is the uh, near the last of uh, last of March. 2022 ah 2023 I'm still stuck in 2022 mode oh gracious it's so good to get outside I have spent what feels like the last four months behind my uh, computer at my desk and uh, although I enjoy what I do I am tired of sitting behind a computer oh so so good to get out everybody I'm not the only one with this idea so today we got a few list of things to uh, some housekeeping stuff we got to go up to REI Need to pick up some uh, stuff for the uh, for the upcoming trip this spring uh, you know we have a general route through the Northeast corridor up to Quebec uh, then over to Nova Scotia over the top of Maine then the ferry if uh, that works out back over to Maine Bar Harbor and touring New England and then back south again. We're thinking about uh, maybe three weeks. Uh, you know, it's a very fluid plan. I'm gonna try to keep it fluid because we learned historically that the best played lands, best played plans of mice and men or something like that. I feel like I've been so long building a spider, I almost forget how to ride, so I gotta. So we are still looking to have our uh, meetup uh, in August. Details on our Facebook page. Uh, in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it's uh, Peaks of Otter Lodge along the Blue Ridge Parkway, just north of the Roanoke area of Virginia. I called reservations yesterday. We made our reservations a couple of weeks ago to check for availability. Still plenty of availability, but uh, you never know what will happen with the national parks nowadays and I have been up there before the pandemic on major summer holidays and the place will only be half full and then here after the after the plague it's like it's consistently uh, beyond capacity so if you think about coming number one let us know number two make a reservation um, so we're gearing up for that trip and along with uh, the trip coming up here in a few weeks a few months that is and in our planning, I stumbled across information that uh, to video in the National Park that you put on a monetized YouTube channel requires a permit. And the Blue Ridge Parkway is managed and owned by the National Park Service. So, yeah, I have no idea what the process is. They're apparently, they really haven't fleshed out a system yet to uh, handle this. So I'm trying to, 
work their way through there. So there was a topic for a video right there. How to get permission for the national parks to shoot YouTube video. I mean, come on. If it wasn't the fact I'm disclosing that I'm doing it, nobody would know that we're doing it. I mean, it's our helmet cams and our look back cameras and me pontificating from a parking lot. But anyway, it requires a permit. I'd rather uh, seek permission than uh, pay the fine afterwards if shit ever come up. Well guys, the trip to REI was successful. We picked up a couple of uh, freeze-dried meals. Uh, hope we use it before the expiration date, which is uh, 2052. And anyway, they a pretty good shelf life. Why do we get these? Uh, we have found repeatedly, it's a great idea to have these in your kit if you're traveling and you arrive at your accommodations late, there's no restaurant available, and you have the option of having a reasonably healthy and tasty meal simply by adding hot water. Um, can you live on these? Yeah, you can live on them. Do I want to? No. Are they great to have uh, in the event you need them? Absolutely. We learned at the uh, uh, Sequoia National Park last year when the power went out, we needed these. And they came in handy at a lot of the places. So uh, uh, they're shelf stable, they're easy to pack, and they last a long time. So. You got a couple of those for the trip this spring. Is it time for mischief yet? Nope, still a little early. Got some work to do. Um, I spend an inordinate amount of time trying to anticipate problems before they occur, then build a system to address those problems, thereby making life on the road a lot easier. One of the things that has concerned me is as our spider gets mileage on it and gets some age, uh, things may start to malfunction. For example, the way to open and access the R model Can-Am Spider's fuel tank is to use the key release and then raise the seat in, to access the gas tank. It is a simple cable and pulley system that opens the latch down below the seat and if that cable were to break or malfunction or jam, we would not be able to get into our gas tank. I have no idea how I would fix that in the field. I'm not even sure how to fix it in my garage with all my tools. Um, so I've developed a little bit of a system to, in that event, to access the fuel tank without having to use the key. The system is pretty straightforward. When you turn the key to unlock the fuel tank, it pulls that little tiny latch right there and releases it. But if that cable were to break, I don't know how you would get in there and do it. It's under the seat and latched down. So I have attached a simple piece of twine to the release, running around behind this piece of frame uh, with a piece of nylon twine. Now I know this nylon twine is not gonna last uh, for mo many, many uses. This is designed for an emergency system only because the twine eventually will get uh, worn and frayed going around behind this uh, piece of metal. And then I've attached it to a piece of parachute cord right here so it make the actual pulling of the string uh, much easier on your fingers. Then I have simply used duct tape and what good story about jury rigging a system doesn't involve duct tape uh, up under the seat. So with the seat is down, I can easily stick my finger up here, grab this, pull it down and then access the fuel tank that way. The other side of that coin is the front storage area. On our spider, it is accessed by turning the same key in the opposite direction, and that unlatches the front storage area. The mechanism is a little different. Uh, I'm not sure how to get in there yet and build a bypass to open that should that cable fail, but I'm working on it. It's not nearly as critical as being able to gas up when we're on the side of the road. Well, guys, the workday has finally come to an end. Time for some mischief.
good handmade cigar from Central American Tobacco. Old fashioned, made with good Kentucky bourbon. Life is good, my friends. Life is very good. So I think I'm going to sit here the rest of the afternoon, enjoy the mild weather, and uh, contemplate the nature of the universe. Catch you next week, guys.